All right, so for this brief video, I'll show you how to set up uh, for the Vinyl Master Cut software so that you're able to cut items on the vinyl cutter. And so all you're going to do is double click on the Vinyl Master Cut software and just click on New Document. And when you get started with that, it's going to give you a new document. It looks like a paper document, um, but we're not going to use much of that paper as a, as a boundary, but it may help you a little bit to, uh, to look and see the context as far as size for items. So as far as simple items, you can click on the A if you wanna bring in typed text that you might wanna cut. And uh, there's a variety of different um, fonts that you can use if you want to change around the font. The thicker, typically the better. It'll cut a little bit nicer um, and you can easily adjust your sizing this way. One way that I adjust sizing is right here. If I know that I want my text and I'll just click on the text. If I know that I want it to be say no longer than six inches, what I'll do is I'll click in here and I'll delete this and I'll just say six inches and it'll automatically adjust my text so that it's meeting that six inches as far as uh, the length of the item. If you do not want it to automatically adjust, you can unclick this proportional lock and that'll adjust the proportions of the text or even the image uh, that you may have. Now, there are some simple uh, square circle arrows that you can bring in if you if you need an arrow uh, you can do that um, and bring those in for your vinyl cutting uh, for example we use those when um, when we are creating the x's that were going on the floor uh, for into the cafeteria um, and then there's also some basic shapes and clip art that you can use as well now one of the things you will want to know how to do is how to mirror an image so for example, if this is going on a shirt and uh, you're using HPV, um, heat press vinyl, and say you want the error to go in that way, you're gonna have to mirror it uh, and have it flipped backwards um, when you cut it. So in order to do that, all you do is click on arrange, click on mirror and rotate, and then just click on mirror horizontally. And what that'll, is, that'll do is that'll mirror the, the image horizontally so it's flipped, so it's the proper orientation whenever you um, actually put it on the garment or on the material that you're looking at. And then finally, another uh, thing that I want to show you how to do is how to vectorize your images. Uh, if you're bringing in any images to, to cut out, you have to make sure that they're vectorized for the vinyl cutter, otherwise it will not be able to cut it properly. So in order to bring in an image, you hit File, Import. You find your image. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this uh, California logo. I'm going to hit Open. I'm going to put it right over here. Now, if I zoom out, you can see here's our California logo. Now, what I have, to, if I try to cut this right now, it's not going to cut it properly. It's just going to cut around that square and because it's not a vectorized image. So what we need to do is we need to go up here and make sure you're on your arrow key and click vectorize. And when you click vectorize, what that's going to do is that's going to take your image and it's going to vectorize it and make sure that it's traceable by the vinyl cutter. And so I'm just going to click on trace. It'll chase through the entire image and then you hit accept. Now that's a vectorized image that you can use. So if I were printing this out and say I was gonna use this as a sticker to say go on, on the, uh, on the um, doors like we have whenever you enter in, I would just cut it out this way. If I need to um, flip it so that it's going on a t-shirt using heat press vinyl, I'm gonna click on arrange, mirror and rotate and mirror horizontally. So that's how you add text. That's how you add basic clip art. That's how you import images and vectorize them. And then that's also how you uh, horizontally mirror um, an image.